it's from a Christian, from a biblical perspective. So we've been learning so far that God takes us on a journey and we were thinking about the Good Samaritan and how he went on the journey and what God did with him on that journey. We're thinking about transport in terms of uh, it's needed for things to transport things or people from one place to another and that each vehicle is made for a purpose. And this week we've been thinking about a digger called Scoop and thinking about the fact that Scoop, this digger, was made for a, a purpose which was obviously to dig. Um, and we were saying to the children that they, of each one of them being made for a purpose by Father God. Um, and it's different for each one of them, just as it is for us grown-ups. Um, so, and we're also, we haven't really got onto this yet, but we're thinking how human beings, you know, how God gave them a clue by making birds and um, horses and all these different creatures that God made, it's sort of like, almost like a clue of how to make things like aeroplanes and cars and all that by just looking at the creation that he'd already made and how he's given human beings the ability to make these amazing machines and vehicles. We haven't quite got onto that yet, but we, we want to bring across to the children a sense of awe and wonder about our Father God at how amazing he is. He's given humans the ability to make these amazing things. Okay, so. Um, just first of all, could I ask. Um, yes, Aliana, you just to stand up and say what you were going to say. Could I ask um, Natalie, Sarah and Abigail Rachel to stand up please? Could I ask Natalie that you could stand over here? Everybody's going to have to remember where you were stood. <laughs> Sarah you come stand here and Abigail you go where Mrs Kirkby is. And everybody else, can you look at everybody else in class one? Can you see, if you, just make sure they can see your picture Sarah and everybody else in class one and also Natalie. And I've got to hold it up as well. Right, can you go to the picture of how you come to school? Take your picture with you that you're holding. So if you come by a car, can you go to Abigail Rachel? If you come by bus, can you come to Nabley? And if you come, if you walk, can you come to Sarah? Come down here. And we actually do have some people that come by train, but they're in the nursery. <laughs> so they do. And it just, we just, we did this just to uh, learn about how we come to school. Um, and we are going to show some pictures later of how and they've written about how they come to school. But it showed us that overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly, the majority of our children in class one come by car. Okay, could you go back now to where you were sitting, please, children? Yes. 